Hello there, welcome to another video of SurfCat. In this video, we are going to start a short course in AR for Flutter development. This course here is going to be entirely with AR kit and if you're looking for AR course, absolutely going to start the AR course so serious after this AR kit as well. So the overview of this course is going to be what I mean is uh, I'm going to cover in this short course is first we are going to build a AR app with just text. So that's going to be a build, uh, going to build today. In the next video, uh, I'll be creating an object uh, and uh, enable user to interact with that object uh, in the camera. And uh, the third application will be like a, a AR app with a image detection kind of stuff. Um, then I have a few comments uh, asking for a a face detection and tracking uh, AR app. So uh, that will be the fourth uh, application in AR which we're going to make like a face detection and tracking. And um, then finally I'm going to make uh, the measure the distance or height of an object with the AR. Uh, that's absolutely a gonna very good application so in short uh, we have five at least we are going to make at least five error apps uh, in the short course so uh, that's the overview of this uh, error kit in Flutter so let's start doing it uh, so in this uh, first video what we are going to make us we just going to make a simple error app with just uh, text uh, in the air camera like uh, I have given like in the video as you see there's a first first flutter uh ar app something like that all right so that's just, this is very gonna be very easy so if you're doing the error application for the first time uh we will just make it as easy as simple for you guys so i will be doing this course entirely from scratch uh, so you don't need to miss any episodes because i'll be continuing uh, the same thing with the same same source in the upcoming videos as well all right, so I'm going to create a new project first of all for this uh, Flutter application. So, so I have the address studio over here. So um, I'm going to create a new project. So if you're doing for the first time, you need to install the Android, all these things uh, in my previous video, in my video description, I said I will be providing how you can uh, set up the Flutter SDKs and all these things. Uh, if you haven't done the, done this so far, all right. So, so those who have already done everything else, and if you know some basics about the Flutter, so you're just uh, about ready to start, all right. So, yeah, file. I'm going to create a new project from here. So this is going to be a new Flutter project. So I'm started here, new Flutter, and uh, this is the path where we uh, set the SDKs and all these things. So this is going to be a Flutter SDK path, uh, which I said there already in my system. So if you're not familiar with this, uh, I have already done some videos regarding this. Uh, that's, that link also will be provided in my video description. You can go through that if you haven't done so far yet. All right, and so next I'm going to here, and this is about uh, the project name and all the settings uh, around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this project as uh, AR. So make it as short, AR demo series. Let's make it as demo underscore series all right and this is going to be a new application and uh, uh, the android language will, will be the kotlin and the ios will be swift and i'm just unchecking the linux mac os web and uh, windows because i'm not going to use for that for time being i'll be using only for the um, android and ios uh, so air kit most probably supports an ios all right and in the organization what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go my organization name something like that uh, all right and then uh, i'm going to set a path for this where i need to save this project so i want to save it my flutter projects i'm going to create a folder let me name this as ar Yes. Open and finish it. Simple. Okay. Let's rearrange the name. Demo error series. So it's creating the Flutter project. It would take some time for it to open as well. Uh, and really I'm going to take a new entire video.
window so let me close this all right so first of all what i hear here is if you try to run this project uh, uh, it, it will be having a small window and there will be a floating button and there is a plus icon so if you click that it will the numbers when you're gonna go high it's if you did this you may know okay so i'm not going to do use these kind of stuff uh, so uh, what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to this terminal and uh, going to give some commands so in order to do that uh, I have a fan I find uh, a fantastic library which is called uh, AR kit plugin 1.0 point 1 uh, this uh, library is exactly uh, what I'm going to follow in the center series so this is an absolutely very good uh, uh, library uh, pla flutter package which you can see as uh, in one of a couple of videos which I did before also I have introduced this uh, source as well so regarding the uh, earth rotation all these kind of stuff they are very good uh, few stuffs as well which is like hello world earth uh, top detection plane detection too many source codes and twitter demos are there available this so i'll be providing this uh, link in my video description so you can go through and uh, some other videos as well okay so what am i going to do first of all is uh, i'm going to start with the uh, installation process so what I'm going to do is I have the other I have to run this command with the flutter so I'm just copying this from here uh, AR kit plugin I'm going to my Android Studio and the terminal I'm going to type it over there and, and type enter it's very easy that's a step one this is step one process uh, okay right this is done so after doing this what you need to do is you can just go and check in the uh, pubspec.yaml whether we have another thing guy over here new guy which is called air kit plugin which has been installed or no so once it complete uh, we can just check so it's in progress at currently wait for a moment all right I think it's done so I'm going to pubspec.yaml and I'm going to search for this uh, Yeah, here we go. I have here the guy air get plugin. So just do pub get and go back to the main dot yeah, uh, dot file. So I'm going to do a few stuffs here. Before that, uh, you need to make sure some of some things like uh, if we are going to use AR camera, absolutely right. So what you need to do is you need to add a few fucks, uh, few two pieces of line, which is for actually the asking for the user for the camera permission all these things actually usually most of the developers do at the end but uh, currently uh, let me go do this as well because uh, we don't need to get a crash when while we try to run all right so let me go for that where's that here we go here is the info.plist uh, which means the uh, i use users should have should we need to use this uh, keys and the string for uh, using the camera stuff so what I'm going to do is this is a step two uh, go to the flutter and so you can find this uh, info.plist so just scroll down for a moment and uh, when you find key you just give a space over there key and string so you can type a message over here so like uh, so what I'm going to type it over here is uh, AR demo serious app needs or else we can write uh, hello AR demo serious app to use AR here symbol AR hello AR demo series app to use AR here you can write uh, the string where whatever you would like to type there as a string so once you've done this uh, this is step two and uh, next step is I'm going to some source codes uh, from here uh, this is AR uh, I'll be providing this uh, in my video description as well so I'm going to use these kind of stuffs uh, inside my uh, dot uh, main dot, dot file so I'm just copying this over here I'll be provide this link uh, so you can also follow all right um, then I'm going to Android studio and um, let me go to the main dot file this is the step three so I'm just going to the top section 
I'm just pasting it these guy, guys over there all right and the next thing is uh, let me make some all these things get rid of these things okay and this is not going to be constant I'm just going to my home page I'm not going to pass any title so let's remove these stuffs from here and I'm going to remove this as well and uh, this I think we are ready okay we are going coming from M my app and then we are going to my home page and my home page uh, we have this thing widgets over there uh, okay that's then we are going to do the step 3 so what is that like uh, so I'm going to copy this stuff uh, I mean along with the override and the late uh, air controller I'm going to copy this entire section come back to the here and we're gonna remove from here to this part okay and paste this so what we had done here is we are initialized a late AR controller then I have this uh, air kit controller to dispose which means that we need to diffuse the air once we have used otherwise it will be a problem when you try to re uh, install or when you try to re run that this air may be delayed or may cause some issues so in order to avoid that whenever you go to the next view controller or if you're not going to uh, we, if you are going to exit the application we just going to diffuse that air controllers all right that's a nice practice actually what i mean uh we don't need this texturing uh air tracking all these things automatic so i'm going to remove this and the next thing is uh the uh we're going to uh, avoid a function which is for this i'm going to copy this as well and coming back to this uh here and paste this so I'm not going to hold use this entirely all the things so I'm just going to do only for the text and the thing so I just keep only those two lines and get rid of the others because I'm not going to create the create that uh, I'm not going to use the other things and in, uh, in this video so just creating a text that's what our entire target for this first air application uh, then uh, one more thing this is the final step create a R along with the note copy this come back to the Android studio and paste this easy as simple I think the all the errors which is showing should have gone now so let me go through uh, we are using all the things actually uh, this Mac thing we are not uh, using in this current application but we gonna use in the further later episodes so let it be there get uh, we don't need to do anything else okay so first of all is uh, this is having air controller so what it does uh, what I mean so all the test steps uh, for this uh, first AR app is done almost and then I have here a <coughs> child with the AR kit scene view what uh, I do have here is in the app bar so I have given the title as uh, AR kit and flutter and in the body it contains container and uh, in the child I have air kit scene view and on that I have uh, made this property like on AR kit view created uh, I'm going to this AR kit view created so what we have here is so I'm just uh, having this as the AR kit controller which I have initialized here this late AR kit controller so this is gonna uh, initiate this controller and this is uh, gonna pass this at uh, the object on your air camera so this is like this air kit controller dot add create text so what you have create text this is about the creating the text what you need to type over there so in short I have this uh, air, air, air kit uh, text uh, so it is like the text uh, flutter and the interesting depth and this is the material which you're going to use like uh, you can change the material with the diffuse and the property and the color so if you want to add some other color you can do like black white or green or whatever like so uh, in by default I just use as blue and then have the 
return ar kit node so what is this this is a returning an object along with the position geometry all the scale factors so geometry have this as text which we have declared here and the position is a of vector which is having the three axis and the scale also it is like three axis so if you're looking for okay we would, i don't know what's the position kind of stuff like so i have here this is the position kind of stuff so if I suppose in case this is the object which you're going to place in the air camera so this is the minus x axis to the west and if you're going up it will be of a plus y axis and if you're going to opposite like it's going to be minus z and if you're going to this direction it's going to be plus z and if you're going down it will be a minus z and if you're going to this position it will be of a plus x kind of stuff all right and uh, then uh, I'm going to change the text here uh, so let me try this one so what I have used is uh, first AR app. okay so I'm going to use the same here I'm going to use this first So this is the thing and which I'm going to uh, run and show and the position this is uh, as I explained this is going to be x y and is that uh, what we have done here and the scaling is also it's also about the vector uh, actually the difference is like it, the scaling is about the transform of the entire entity so just we have some uh, we will make another video so I can deeply explain about these factors so this is about a small object like uh, I'm going to use a minus x uh, y with the 0.3 position and z will be of minus uh, 1.4 what if I do a uh, plus 1.4 which means that uh, it will be uh, appearing the object gonna appear uh, be, uh, before me which means that it will be in the opposite direction of where I'm standing with the camera right so I have to go back or rotate the camera so that's how it's the position being set over here so after this or doing this uh, I just uh, connected to my uh, iOS device so you need to run in an iOS real device uh, for this AR kit and objects to uh, execute all right so this is not possible in our simulator so I just connected to my uh, real device and if I run and check uh, so it's going to be like this which I have already recorded previously and uh, if when it when it first launches it will be asked will be asking for a uh, camera L access allow so you should uh, be uh, uh, click the ok button and after that uh, it may take some time uh, for the first initial run so after that uh, you can find the text object uh, which will be appearing on the screen like this all right so hurry this is your first uh, uh, air application in flutter so uh, that's all in this video and in the upcoming videos what I'm trying to make is in the next video so let me try to uh, create an object so uh, as per uh, we said in our, our create and enable user interaction so that's gonna be a make uh, in the next video and so uh, it will be a guess peer or what any type of stuff so when the user interact there should be an action or else uh, there'll be a position you can just move the object from uh, the camera from one position to another kind of stuff so that will be making in the next uh, episode all right so i hope this video gonna help someone else uh, so if you like you can just uh, subscribe for the upcoming videos for this entire air kit series co-series i mean all right uh, thank you very much thank you for watching this see you in the next video